Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Welcome back to my channel High Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting system of equations. We have a square minus b square equal to 9 and a product a times b equal to 3. Of course, you can solve this question by yourself. You can write your assumption down into the comment section and then we will check our answers. Okay, so how can we solve this question? First of all, we have the first equation and the second equation. Let's raise this first equation to the second power on both sides. Let's do this right now. So as a result, we have a square minus b square. We're going to raise this to the second power, okay, like that, we're going to raise to the second power, and of course equal to 9 to the second power. So we change nothing, we just raise this first equation to the second power. Right now let's raise this. As a result, I'm going to start it on the left side because I need more space from here. So as a result, we have a square to the second power, okay, so we have a square to the second power. We have plus the same b square to the second power, b square to the second power, and we have minus 2 a square times b square. Okay, according to a basic school formula and equal to 9 square equal to 81. Okay, 81. Right now, few manipulations, few things. We let's raise this a square to the second power. You need to know a really interesting and really important formula. When we have a to the power m raised to the power n, we need to multiply it a to the power m times n. This is our basic school identity and let's apply this identity at this moment and at this, at this moment. As a result, what do we have? We have a to the fourth plus b to the fourth and minus. Right here I'm going to do a really important trick. I'm going to I'm going to write it inside parentheses a times b and raise to the second power. Okay, so we have minus 2. I'm going to write it as a product a times b and raise all of this to the second power equal to 81. According to a power rule, we need we can easily raise, we can easily write it in that way, in that way, so it changed nothing. But I hope you understand why can we write this a product like that. Okay, what we're going to do next? Right now, from here, we know AB, okay, AB from here equal to 3, okay, AB equal to 3. So from this from this expression, we can easily find A to the fourth plus B to the fourth. Let's do this right now. As a result, what do we have? A to the fourth plus B to the fourth minus 2 times uh, A times B equal to 3, so times 3 square equal to 81. So right now, let's find A to the fourth plus B to the fourth from here. As a result, what do we have? a to the fourth plus b to the fourth equal to, we have right here 3 square 9, 9 times 2 equal to 18. So we have 18 plus 81, so equal to 99. So a to the fourth plus b to the fourth equal to 99. We really need this expression, okay? So I'm, I'm wanna, I, I want to underline it. So we have a to the fourth plus b to the fourth equal to 99. This is our first step. So I really hope you understand it. This is our first step. What are we going to do next? Right now I'm going to write a, a formula from school. Everyone know about it. So we have ax uh, plus y to the second power. Everyone know about this formula. This is equal to x square uh, plus y square plus y square and plus 2xy. Everyone know about this formula plus 2xy. And from here, let's express x square plus y square. Okay, let's do this right now. So x square plus y square, x square plus y square equal to, from here, what do we have? x plus y to the second power. So x plus y to the second power and minus 2xy, minus 2 x, y. But this is a general formula from school. In the beginning, we work with the a and b. So right now, I suggest you to write this substitution. So this is our all-known formula, but I'm going to use a few substitutions. So x equal to a square and, b, and y equal to b square. So two substitutions, x equal to a square and y equal to b square. As a result, we need to plug in these uh, expressions instead of x and y in this formula. Let's do this right now. As a result, what do we have? a square to the second power, okay, plus instead of y we write b square, so b square to the second power equal to x plus y, we're going to write a square plus b square, a square plus b square raised to the second power and minus 2 times a square times b, b square. Okay, I really hope you I really hope you understand it. Right now, a to the second raised to the second equal to a to the fourth. So as a result, we have a to the fourth plus b to the fourth equal to, this one we're going to leave it like that. So as a result, we have a square uh, plus b square plus b square. We're going to raise this to the second power. We're going to leave it like that without changes. And minus 2, instead of a square times b square, I want to write a times b to the second power with, with, with the same logic as like that. Okay, we wrote it in the beginning. So a square b square, we write as a times b to the second power. And I'm going to repeat this step. Okay, as a result, we have a 
times b to the second power. And right now, let's underline what elements from here we know, okay? So a to the fourth power plus b to the fourth. From here, we know that this is equal to 99, okay? Let's underline it. a square plus b square, so we, we don't know about it. And a times b is equal to 3 from the beginning. Where do, where do we have it? We have it right here, a times b equal to 3. Okay, equal to 3. All right now, let's write what do we know from here. So we know 99 equal to a square plus b square raised to the second power and minus 2 times 3 square. So as a result, we have we have 2 times 9, so minus 2 times 9. So from here we can find, it uh, looks like we reduce a power step by step. So as a result, we have a to the fourth, b to the fourth. Right now we're going to find a square plus b square. So let's do this. As a result, what do we have? We have 99 equal to, or 99 plus 2 times 9, so plus 18, so plus 18. From here equal to a square plus b square raised to the second to the second power. Okay, but we need to change position. We prefer this expression on the left side. So as a result, what do we have? a square plus b square is equal to the second power, of course, equal to 99 plus 18, equal to 100, 117. Okay, we know uh, a thumb of a square, so I need uh, more space right here. Okay, so a square plus b square to the second power equal to 117. But let's find a square plus b square. So let's do this. So as a result, we need to write a square plus b square. We need to find square root on both sides. So as a result, this is equal to uh, plus minus square root of 117, 117. But if you look closely, right here we have a square plus b square. Uh, this is a sum of two squares. So if you look closely, this is a positive value. Of course, only one case when a and b are equal to, uh, to zero at the same time. But we are talking about two positive, a sum of two positive integers. So as a result, we can easily reject, uh, we can easily reject this negative, uh, negative uh, value. Okay, so we are talking about square root of 117. So as thumb equal to square root of so a square plus b square plus b square equal to square root of 117 so we reject negative value we reject it reject it reject we can simplify this because square root of 117 we can write as um, 9 times 13 so 9 times 13 equal to let's continue right here so equal to square root of 9 according to a square root property we can split it square root of 9 times square root of 13 equal to 3 square root of 3 square root of 13 so we know a thumb a square plus b square equal to 3 square root of 13 so we know a thumb of two squares a square plus b square equal to 3 square root of 13 13 we know a to the fourth, but basically we don't need it anymore, a to the fourth. Right now, let's try to work with this a square plus b square equal to equal to 3 uh, square root of 13. How can we find a plus b? Because we need to find a plus b. Let's write up a basic school formula. a plus b square, so a plus b to the second power. How can we find it? Of course, this is all known formula from school. This is our a square plus b square plus b square and plus 2ab, plus 2ab. But we know everything, we know everything. We know a square plus b square equal to 3 square root of 13 from here. So this is equal to 3 square root of 13. And uh, ab equal to 3 from the beginning. Okay, so as a result, a plus b to the second power equal to 3 square root of 13 from here and plus 2 times 3 equal to equal to 6. And right now we need to find a plus b, so we need to find square root, we need to find square root on both sides, we need to apply square root on both sides. As a result, what do we have? We have a plus b equal to square root of, but I prefer writing this 6 on the first position, so we have 6 plus 3 square root of 13. So everything is great. In, inside the square root sign we have a positive value, so we don't have a negative value because we rejected uh, this negative value right here. And the last moment, a lot of students forget about it, but we need to put plus minus right here because uh, we can easily raise a negative value to the second power and as a result we have absolutely the same thing. So a correct answer to this question. So let's write it. So our answer our answer. According to this system of equation, our thumb x plus, uh, sorry, what do we have in the beginning? We had, we had a plus b, yeah, we had a plus b equal to plus minus square root of 6 plus 3 square root of 13. 
this is our answer to this question. So we have a thumb a plus b for exactly um, the answer that we need to find. So as, as a result, we have a correct answer. Yeah. So if you have your answer, your approach, you can also write your approach down into the comment section. Write your note about this question down into the comment section because maybe you have your way, your approach. How can you solve it? It's really interesting to exchange information, and I'm really proud and I'm really happy when I read uh, your comments. If you re when I read your approach, it's also it's also really great. I enjoyed this question. I'm gonna be honest with you. I enjoy it. This is a great, I would say, like relaxing algebra question because it's not that hard. We have a basic, uh, basic steps. We have a basic algebra formulas. And the first one right here, and the second one. And I'm, I find this question interesting for you, for your students. If you wanna um, test your students solving this uh, question, it's, it's great. I would say this is a great test for your students. So thank you for your time. Thank you for your for your response. It's really great that you watching my videos, watching my channel. I try, I um, do my best to make new content every day. So I really enjoy that you support me with with the with the different things like like this, like uh, comments, uh, like your response, your your opinion about this question. And I really enjoy it. So wish all the best in your life. Take care of yourself. Have a great day. See you in the next videos.